What's up guys, it's me the Gold Nugget here and today we're doing my first actual casual playthrough of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. The original. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my actual first casual playthrough on the channel of this game. This is gonna be on my actual casual playthrough of Battle for Bikini Bottom. So, let's begin. PlayStation won't shut up. PlayStation won't shut up. We're trying to listen to a cut screen. Because the PlayStation so won't shut up. I'm sure I'm playing the song this song right now. Sure, you guys remember the, remember that and repeat it in the comments. Remember exactly what Patrick said and repeat it in the comments. It was me all the time. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Wow! What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the sign? I know how to read the sign. Oh, so. okay. Press this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. press the button. Press the button to talk to him again. Okay. I know how to play this game. I'm not four years old. <laughs> or am I? I don't know. I feel just like a kid again. Playing. A note from Mr. Krabs! And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Oh, hey, there's SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab. Remember this, this is important. Promoted to head shiny object collector. That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails 
is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Yeah, we gotta collect shiny objects and uh, trade them to Mr. Krabs for a golden spatula. It's shiny. That's something you can really do. And uh, if you guys don't know what this game is about, basically, uh, Plankton's taking over the world and, uh, well, no, the robots are taking over the world, not Plankton. Yeah, <laughs> his plan kind of backfired on him. But uh, the main collectibles here are uh, spatulas. He's going spatula to unlock new areas of, of, of the map. This is where I keep all my old comic books. This is where SpongeBob keeps all his old comic books. Normally he would re repeat that line over and over in the Rehydrator. Which is uh, the remake. But of course... This ain't the remake. So... Yeah. Yeah, normally... SpongeBob would normally re repeat... This is where I keep all my old comic books. This is where I keep all my old comic books, like, over and over again. But in this game, he only says it once. Just as soon as you go in here. Yeah, this is the original, by the way. <sighs> oh, and, uh, we're collecting socks for Patrick, because Patrick needs socks. Patrick lost all his socks, so we need to get them back to him. I know. That's a lot to take in. So, basically, we gotta collect so many golden spatulas. Oh, that's good. Uh, we go behind this door, and there's a golden spatula. Golden spatula, and we're gonna use it to unlock the world. Let's go explore. Let's go and explore the world. That is Bikini Bottom. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chunk bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Yeah, make excuses. Not for me, though, that's for sure. <laughs> they just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help! But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Yeah, golden spatulas unlock new areas, as we'll see. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chunk bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. In your dream. You've got a deal. Alright, so yeah. So, normally, yeah. So this will take me to downtown, but I need five golden spatulas to go there. So, yeah. It shines. And, uh, yeah, the next part of the... The next part of... Hey, Patrick. The, the, oh, crap. I fucking skipped that. I skipped dialogue on accident. What he was saying was, hey Patrick, nice sock. And then he would be like, what sock? And then, and then SpongeBob would be like, the one you're standing on. It's lost. <laughs> and then Patrick would explain just why, uh, why all the socks are missing. <laughs> so, that's why we have, we have to collect socks for Patrick. I skipped dialogue on accident. Yeah, but I'm sorry. <laughs> SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of 
course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got We need 3,000 shiny objects. Let's go see Squidward. Let's go see our old pal Squidward. You get a sock for as well. And uh, every ten socks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Patrick spatulas are worth ten socks. So if I ever. If, if, so, uh. So whenever I get ten socks, that's a that's a spatula. Literally waiting for me. That makes sense. Um, we're gonna go on top of pineapple. I have to do this casually. Do this casually, remember? 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 <sighs> okay. Oh crap. Oh no. I'm stuck. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. Right. That's an easy spatula for me. So yeah, every 10 socks I collect, I'll be able to trade those socks to Patrick. Yeah. I have to trade 10 socks into Patrick in order to get a spatula from him. Which is nice. We're gonna go to Jellyfish Fields, because that, that's literally the only place we can go right now. Yeah. Alright, 13 minutes in. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Spatula. It's all spatula. I also saw a sock there. I haven't seen this special in a little while. Yeah. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you particle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! My eyes. My eyes. <laughs> I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected area. King Jellyfish Jelly? <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death <laughs> under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. 
Alright, we're gonna now get this. We're now gonna go through Jennifer's Rock. Oh, and uh, by the way, these are teleport boxes. So if I jump into one of those boxes, if, and if I have both, if I have both uh, boxes opened up, I'll be able to jump through here and I'll be able to teleport right into the other box. I don't have the other box open right now, that's why I can't really teleport in there right now. But once I, once I get that other box open, I'll be able to teleport wherever I want to. Just go through here. It's kind of like the playthrough casual slash walkthrough. Yeah. Alright. There's a sock over here. Also get to pay a clown shiny objects to get access to new paths and stuff. That's very cool. And these are checkpoints. I think you guys know what a checkpoint is, right? I don't think I gotta explain that to you. Yeah. Unless you're that new to gaming and you don't know what checkpoints are. button and uh, it should come like a path for a sock. A smelly, stinky sock for Patrick. Again, if I uh, trade in, I have to trade in 10 socks to Patrick in order to get a spatula from him. Trying to get some shiny objects here. Getting shiny objects is not easy. In this game. You just avoid the cannon. Oh, you can also bungee jump down these hooks. Spongebob can bungee from them. And you can literally, you literally just jump into the hook. Grab the spatula. Easy enough, right? Alright. So at this point we have four spatulas and five socks. Not bad number. Ooh, nice. It's hard not to appreciate this game. So, this is Hammerbot. Basically, uh... This robot has a, a piece of ham for a hammer. Get it? <laughs> hammer? There's also something we can do over here. Which we need a later power-up to do. Yeah, we need the bowl to play this game. So there are two unlockable power-ups that we can get. You can only unlock these power-ups if you... Yeah. You can only unlock these power-ups if you, uh, defeat, like, any of the major bosses. So, like, you need to get... So, like... So, like, to get the Bowl Bowl, you have to defeat Robo Sandy. Which is a... Which is a major boss fight. Later on. 
And I and you need 15 spatulas in order to fight over Sandy. Yeah. But once we get the ball ball, I'll educate you on how to use the ball ball. I, I just randomly turned this into a walkthrough. <laughs> Cause I feel like it. Any objections? Jump over here, grab a spatula. I mean a sock. What's the difference between a spatula and a sock anyways? Oh god. So we have six socks. Make that seven, because we're gonna go over here and get another sock. This one is pretty free. Just watch out for the goo, because you will drown in the goo. Yeah, this ain't water, by the way, it's goo. If uh, you touch it, you drown. I mean, you can, you can touch it and survive a little bit, but after a while, you will drown. Oh, and now that we got the other teleporting box, I might as well educate you guys on how these teleporting boxes work. So, if I go into that box, we're all the way at the very beginning of the level. And I teleport back into the box, and then we're at the end. Okay. Well, these are, these are duplicating machines. The, these things will summon robots. So these duplicating machines We'll also spawn in robots until until it is destroyed. So yeah. So yeah, the duplicate machines will shoot robots at you until uh, you destroy it. Yeah. And you have to stay clear whenever you destroy the duplicate machine. Yeah, whenever you destroy the duplicate machine, you, you have to stay clear of it because. It'll make a big boom, and uh, you can take damage if you uh, stand close to it for too long. Now going into the caves. Now I think this is gonna wrap it up for part one of this Whoa, walkthrough. Mermaid man, I have all your comments uh. and toys and mail. Hey, huh? What? Oh yeah, it's that sponge kid. No, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Uh -huh. Oh, no. I Great way to end it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Here I come, Patrick! <laughs> Alright. So that's gonna do it for part one of this walkthrough. Um, you guys enjoyed it? I'll be back with part two in a little bit. Don't you guys worry. <laughs>